Hi everyone, this is a video on the, using the latest features of Microsoft 365, in particular extracting information from different formats, so audio going to text and then from text into structured data. Make a lot more sense when we get going. So I recorded myself pretending to be uh, three different people with different attitude to risk. So if we'd listen to one audio recording, which I did on my iPhone, there's the you can see the picture for it there, uh, the voice recorder. And each one I then sent myself from my phone using email to myself. Uh, you can see them clipped there from Outlook. This now, is the second recording using the iPhone uh, voice recorder. Uh, my name is David Stania. I live in Ealing. You get the gist of it. It's not very complicated. So then you go to Microsoft Word for web. And the web version of Word has a special option uh, with a little microphone. You can see it just above my finger. Uh, you drop that down and you go transcribe. And transcribe means take an audio file. So you upload your audio file. You need to remember to say English brackets United Kingdom, unless you have an American accent. And then you watch it transcribe the file. It wasn't that long. I mean, longer documents do take longer, but it's not too bad. And it will show you a sort of preview of the text that it's extracted from your file. That's the third screen. Now I went for the option to have with speakers and timestamps. Uh, with hindsight, I'm beginning to think that was a mistake. Um, but anyway, there we go. That's what I took in. So what meant what I then found is I had three separate Word documents, each containing the text that had been extracted from those audio recordings. The audio recordings might be the financial advisor recording certain parts of a meeting with a client, for example, or a solicitor recording certain parts of the meeting, for example. Now, I then wanted to add some extra columns to, to the those Word documents. So the extra column I wanted to start with was the client name. Can we extract the client name from that Word document? So you go into SharePoint, you go in and say create a new column, you give it a name like client name, and there's a button there that's an added in which you won't see unless you've got the necessary extra subscription in 365, and it says autofill, and you click setup, and it says the second uh, picture you can see there, autofill client name, and to start with, I started typing it, but I'm convinced I did not type all of that prompting. It did it. It decided, based on the field name, it said, please extract the full name of the client from the document, ensuring to capitalize the first letter of each name part. If it's not found, return the words not found. And it's a string. I mean, I didn't type that in. It figured that out. And it even gives you a chance to test it, so you can pick a file that you can go with. And I tested it and, and it did it. So I then saved, kind of came out of that part of the autofill screen, got back to my create column screen, and there you've got the autofill ticks, ticks uh, selected to be on. Now let's have a look at the next one I wanted. So I also wanted to add a field called attitude to risk. So initially I created this as I thought it would have to be a choice column where I gave the values in advance. That's what I did on the on the left hand image. You can see that. But then I went into the autofill and I set that up and it wanted to do it the same way as the other one. So basically you end up with a text uh, rather than well, no, you think it's a text, but actually it worked out OK in the end. But it's still a choice field where you have a limited set of possible results. And the text that it suggested, please extract the attitude to risk from them, that is what it's going with. I mean, yeah. So then I had my um, three files, and there's my column there called client name, and there's my other client there just above my finger called attitude to risk. And there's an extra one that's appeared called processing status. I didn't put that in. That is the system showing me uh, whether it's processing. So when you then drop uh, select all the three files and click on the three dots for one of them. You get the menu that pops up and you say auto fill. What you then get is the processing status changes to be in progress because I selected all three, it's doing all three. I did get a little warning at the bottom of the screen your files are being processed, they may, this may take several hours. As it turns out, it was several minutes longer than I was willing to wait. So let's have a look at the text. Now, I didn't, it wasn't doing it. it, kept saying processing, and I was like, a couple of minutes went by and I was getting impatient. 
So I thought I would simplify the text in the Word documents. So there you could see the original text as transcribed. And then I adjusted it and made it simpler. And I took out the time code and I took out the speaker. I mean, it's a bit simpler. And yes, you can see I've taken off some of the text at the bottom. So what happened then is uh, it worked it out. By the time I'd spent that time messing around, I mean, you can see it was about three to four minutes while I was messing around with creating copies of files. It's done it correctly. It's got the name. Now, there was really one funny thing is that it even spelt on one of them, it spelt it S-T-A-N-I-A -A as the client name. And I was thinking, oh yeah, well, that I mean, that's a curse I have with my particular surname. Then I went into the word transcription. That is how it had been spelt by the word transcription from the audio file. So the client name thing here was getting it spot on. And it's got the attitude to risk except for one. And that one seems to be still in progress. So it is a very interesting thing. It's very powerful. I think a bigger test would be in order to do. Um, you need to work on that text definition of how you extract the information out. You need to work on that pretty carefully. But I think some larger text files, perhaps some audio from client meetings would be very interesting and very powerful. So that's the video today, folks. Um, I think it's an uh, incredible leap forward. The pricing is slightly weird. So you don't pay per month for unlimited access. You pay for literally each process computation. So you can set yourself a budget for the um, for the month, either for you, the individual, or for your team. And that way you've got some sense of control. It's all free until June of next year, June 2025. After that, obviously, Microsoft is going to charge for it. I suspect it won't be too bad because most of the time your documents are not changing. Therefore, none of the data is firing or the extra metadata is being generated. But it's just a new way of doing billing. So thank you very much for watching and uh, speak to you soon.